The next morning, we film Bereda from the hotel window and speculate on Al-Qaeda's causes. 15% unemployment must be part of it. Most Saudi graduates have qualified in theology, which means they can't get well-paid high-tech jobs. And living in a police state might well turn balanced people into extremists. We are now allowed to film from the pavement, but plainclothes officers are watching. And near the heart of the Al-Qaeda problem is a school of Islam which struggles with modernity and loathes US policy in the Middle East. In a third world country whose monarch is pro-Western but whose desert tribal people are not. We leave the men from the Ministry of Fear lurking in the bushes and return to Riyadh where movement is easier. Our host, a spiritual leader from Mecca, once much admired by Osama bin Laden and who rarely gives interviews. He and his lawyer friend spent much of the 90s in prison together after campaigning for democracy. I asked them what makes a suicide bomber. People feel the Islamic world is being targeted. We feel the Americans, especially the extreme right, want to impose their values and confiscate our freedom to worship God as we wish. Our Islamic civilization used to hold sway and dominate from the Pacific to the Atlantic. It wasn't free of faults, but we desperately want it to return. And for all Muslims, the Palestine issue is more important than anything, and where others stand on it governs whether they are our friends or enemies. Ordinary people deal in emotion here.